This month, we're welcoming a new civilization to Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. The United States. The land of opportunity provided a new world for people from many nations. Basic militia forces skilled in skirmish tactics and marksmanship advanced into a professional army, securing the United States' independence and impressive road to prosperity. The United States does not advance through the aid of a politician, but instead by adding a federal state to their union. Each state offers a small bonus and additionally adds two unique cards to your deck. Like most cards, those granted by the state may only be sent once, but offer particularly powerful bonuses. These range from the Delaware Blues, which ships a heavy infantry for every shipment sent so far, to the Indiana Improvement Act, allowing you to advance to the Industrial Age for free, but with a significant research time penalty. The United States deck does not have access to settler cards, instead of having immigration cards. These cards allow you to shape your strategy by borrowing an extra feature from another civilization. These features range from access to a bank wagon to dramatically improving your settler hit points and combat abilities. Unlike most civilizations, the United States begin with a general instead of an explorer. The general is a powerful hero who can construct forts instead of town centers. More importantly, the General can plant the Inspiring Flag, boosting morale by granting an attack bonus to all units and buildings within the vicinity, increasing the training speed of military units and construction speed of buildings. The United States can call upon Miniman from the town center, outpost and fort to help defend their base, or quickly add some extra might to their armies. Unlike regular Minutemen, the United States can call them repeatedly every few minutes and will only ever lose half of their hit points over time, making them more than just a defensive tool. The backbone of the United States Army is made up of the regular, a long-range heavy infantry able to deal with a variety of situations efficiently. The state militia is a frontline infantry with high hit points. It gains additional hit points for each other state militia nearby. The Sharpshooter is a specialist skirmisher, with extra range of bonus damage at the cost of hit points and utility. Their deadly precision and range are perfect for countering heavy infantry. The Carbine Cavalry discharge two shots of their weapons from a safer distance than most ranged cavalry, perfect for chasing down enemy cavalry or routing armies. However, their increased damage output comes at the expense of survivability. The steamer is the workhorse of the United States Navy. Its versatility is unmatched on the sea with high hit points and the ability to collect fish, construct docks and train units, making it a perfect utility unit. Its full steam ability makes it perfect for hunting down fleeing warships or escaping from sticky situations. Alongside these unique units, the United States can also construct the Gatling Gun and Ironclad, units normally exclusively obtained by card shipments. By completing a dedicated set of theme challenges, you can unlock the United States for free. These challenges will only be available for a limited time, so get in quick. For those who want to unlock and enjoy the United States immediately, it will also be available for purchase as an individual expansion and remain available for purchase after the free unlock challenge has expired. The United States have the control and freedom to perform a wide variety of strategies thanks to their unique federal advancements and immigration cards. We're excited to add another chapter to the Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition story, expanding the legacy of a classic and treasured game. Have fun unlocking and experimenting with the new civilization, the United States.